Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Today I'm thrilled to show you the all new 2018 Integra Cornerstone. I'm really excited about the Cornerstone this year because they added a lot of new features. Some of those things being the new interiors. So we have the cashmere interior, which is in our 45W floor plan that I'm going to show you today. The Sonoma, Oxford, and Chestnut. They also gave us an option for a booth dinette in a lot of the floor plans that that wasn't offered in before. And theater seating, which has been a huge hit. Now this coach has the fire red exterior, which I think is beautiful, especially paired with the cashmere interior. Integra only uses the best products. They use Sickens paint and five coats of clear on this coach. What's the most important thing when you're building a house? It's the foundation. The same goes for the motorhome. So the Integra Cornerstone sits on the Spartan K3 chassis. In my opinion, it's the best chassis in the industry. Spartan has been building uh, chassis for over 30 years. They are the first to custom design and specifically build a chassis for the motorhome, which is unique to the industry. So since 1986, when they put, did their first chassis, they've had three big firsts. They are the first to do independent front suspension, first to have the passive steer tag axle, and first to put in a side radiator. We'll talk more about these features as I go through the coach. Notice the beautiful chrome, internally controlled and heated mirrors. We also have the 3M protective film that's across the whole front end of the cap. You can't see it, you can find, kind of feel it there. We have the blind spot monitoring sensor and we have three of those on each side of the coach. We have our marker lights and all new for 2018 is the digital side view camera which gives you improved resolution on your camera screen in the coach. We have three ways that we can get into the coach. Obviously we can use the key or we can use the keypad here and you can select your own unique code so that you can let someone in the coach while you're away, give it to your friends or your grandkids, whatever, they can get to your coach. As you start to push the buttons, the handle also lights up, which is nice. Then of course you have your key fob, which will unlock the entry door and your cargo bays. This is the first of one of our docking lights. This is to help you as you're pulling to the campground at night so you can see where you're pulling into. Then we have our tires. We have the Michelin 365 tires. Now, I always thought 365 as they got bigger, they got taller. They actually, the tread gets wider, which gives you a nicer, smoother ride. 365s on the front, 315s on the back. Here we have our 150 gallon fuel tank. This is dual fill, so we can do it from either side of the coach. And another huge feature, I know it's small, I keep saying small but simple things, the fuel tap tether. Everyone's been asking for that. I don't know how many of you have left your fuel cap at the gas station. It's not gonna happen any longer. All right, I want you to notice the flush mounted side out walls. This is a big deal. A lot of manufacturers will add a little lip here because they want the, they're not fully square. The lip is one of those things that adds to wind noise. So this is one of the features that adds to Integra's quietest riding, best handling coach on the market today, period. Another thing that I get asked all the time by our customers is jacks down first, slides out first, what comes first? So slides out first, jacks down when you're setting up camp. When you go to leave, do the same thing in reverse. Jacks up, slides in. Now we also have the tinted dual pane frameless windows throughout the coach, the power door awning and the power Gerard awnings, the full length of the coach. They're all LED lit and they have the Nova pitch so you get a little extra shade with the awnings. Also note that we have our security light there. So we've got it turned on inside, so that's on all the time. You can have that on motion sensor to where it just turns on when someone walks by it, or you can have it on at all times. All right, as we move on to our basement area, I want you to notice a new stainless 
uh, steel, the ribs in the stainless steel is new for 2018. Here we have our uh, extra spot for our stinky slinky. You know, you always want that right next to your refrigerator freezer. <laughs> so we have our external freezer here. So it's nice and deep. And you can set the temperature on this. So if you want to have it for drinks, for tailgating, or if you want to keep ice cream in it, then you're going to set it a little bit lower. Now, another thing we have here is our remote control for our Girard awnings. So we just put it at double zero and press out. And both of our awnings are going to come out together. So we've got our drinks now, we're getting our shade ready. Why don't we move right to our entertainment while we're tailgating. So here we have our Samsung TV with the Samsung sound bar. The TV comes out, goes side to side and tilts so you can get the perfect angle for your viewing pleasure. You also have the connection here. If you're camping underneath the trees and you're not getting good um, reception and you've got a portable satellite dish, you can hook that in right there. Here we have our powered pass-through trays. So just hit the button it simply comes out and it goes both ways, driver side and passenger side. All right, here's our second powered pass-through tray. So again, just simply hit the button it extends. Now a lot of people will put a heavy tool box in here and they need to take it out. You don't want to have to lift it up over the edge. So Integra adds this feature where you can just lift up and fold down that front lip, which is really nice. You can just slide whatever you need to out of here. Now pay close attention to the X bracing. We have it. It runs vertically and horizontally throughout the chassis. This provides, it, this keeps the chassis from twisting and makes the suspension do all the work. Cornerstone has independent front suspension as well. Here we have our battery disconnect switches. So first of all, I want to note that the whole basement is carpeted, insulated, and heated. And you can, it's controlled by a thermostat on the Vega touch pad. We also have the Dirt Devil vacuum so we can vacuum out the basement as well as our house and 110 outlets. Now, if we're not lucky enough to have you as one of our storage customers at National Indoor RV Centers and you store elsewhere and you don't have 50 amp service, then you want to cut off all power to your coach so that there's no drain or draw on your batteries. So you want to be fully disconnected. Now, to fully another cutoff switch for your coach, for the inside of the coach, the inside of the house is right here you can turn off all power to the inside of the coach here. And another great feature, if you ever have problems with your slide rooms, you can manually, with a pin, extend and retract all of your slide rooms right here. So bedroom retract, bedroom extend, vanity retract, vanity, vanity extend, etc. Right there, another great feature that Integra has added. Behind the uh, black curtain here, just kidding, we have our fresh water tank. So we also have this little window here so we can visibly see how full it is. This is a gravity fill for your water tank. Now you're going to fill it, uh, the pressurized fill with the city water on the other side of the coach. But occasionally our customers will want to clean out their um, tank with a little bit of bleach or if you're dry camping, you may want to portably bring in water and this is how you would fill it. Now we have our second docking light. This is going to keep you, protect you as you're coming into the campground at night from um, accidentally having one of those picnic tables or rocks come out and grab you. So this is really a great feature. Marking light, our second and our third blind spot monitoring sensor. Here's our 15 gallon DEF tank. We can fill this from the passenger side and the driver side. Now, while we're on the DEF tank, just want to talk about these, the, the engines have become so computerized and they're monitoring a lot of systems. One of the most common 
uh, check engine lights that we get is the DEF. And that is because there, there's an expiration on the DEF. So if you're one of these RVers that likes to buy your DEF at Walmart and carry it with you, make sure you check that ex expiration date. It's only last, it's only good for one year. If you're an RVer that full times and you go to a park for six months and then you drive to the next park for another six months, you may not wanna fill your DAF tank because you're not gonna go through it all in a year. Here we have the chassis batteries. Before we go here, I wanna start here. This is our air dryer. This has a filter and this does need to be serviced. This is the muffler for the air dryer. So if you've ever been unhooking your tow car behind the coach here and you hear that sound, but it's a lot louder than that, kind of you know scares you half to death, they put a muffler on that so you won't be startled by that anymore. And we have our chassis batteries and our disconnects here for our chassis batteries. So again, if we're not fortunate enough to have you as one of our storage customers where you're plugged into 50 amp service at all times, when you go to store, you wanna make sure you cut off um, all circuitry to your batteries before you store it. And this is our power distribution center for the back half of the chassis. So if you have a tail light that goes out, come and check the fuse here. If you have a marker light that goes out, come and check the fuse here. All right, now to my favorite button. The in, open the engine door. So push the button and engine door goes up. Super easy. All right, now for some guy talk. This cornerstone has the Cummins ISX 15 liter, 600 horsepower, 1,950 foot pounds of torque with the Allison 4000 series, six speed transmission with two overdrives. Bam. <laughs> so what does that mean? That you means you have 600 horses pushing you forward. And when you put on your engine brake on high, you have 600 horses pulling you back. The Cornerstone comes with an insulated engine compartment. This is a big deal because it's gonna help you heat your coach in the winter, keep it warm in the winter, and keep it cool during the summer. And the room just beyond your engine is gonna be either your bedroom or your master bathroom. So that's an important place to keep cool or warm. Now we also have the new recept uh, cover for our engine block heater. If you're having to plug in here, you're not far enough south. This is a house with wheels. Get further south. The Cornerstone has 20,000 pound towing capacity. So what does that mean to you? It means that you can take your 5,200 pound Jeep Grand Cherokee or your 7,500 pound Chevy Suburban or the 28 foot triple axle stacker trailer and put them all together and you're towing behind you and you're not gonna fill a thing. I want you to pay attention to the beautiful Integra backlit sign. I love the way the end cap looks, it's super sharp, really catches your attention when it's going down the road. Also notice the total vision rear camera. So this camera goes up and down and left to right. Also has a hitch view. So when you're hooking up your stacker trailer, you can point it right down and see the hitch. And then when you're driving down the road, put the camera back up and you can see over the stacker trailer further right to the horizon. Another feature that they added in 2018 is they got rid of that annoying beeping backup sound and replaced it with a white noise. All right, we're gonna have a little radiator trivia now. So who was the first chassis manufacturer to put a side radiator in a coach? Spartan. Secondly, what are the disadvantages to having a rear radiator? Basically, you're trying to cool the radiator with hot air from the engine, plus you're getting all that dirt and debris that's coming into it as well. So with a side radiator, you're gonna have cool cooler, cleaner air going into it. Now, if you look at the way these fins are designed, they're designed to bring in cool air into the radiator, which means you're gonna be, the fan doesn't have to work as hard. And what, how much horsepower does it take for that fan to work? 35 horsepower. 
So if you've got cooler air come into there, the fan has to work, doesn't have to work as hard and you're gonna have more, more horsepower for your coach. One of the features you're gonna love this year, Integra has gone from locking and securing our Stinky Slinky to locking and securing our DEF. To show you how serious they are about doing this, they've even gone to a galvanized seal door to secure it. Another innovation, another first by Spartan, is the passive steer tag axle. And how can you tell? You have your wheel in the front that has a steer rim. This looks exactly the same as your front steer rim. We also have two blind spot monitoring system uh, sensors, our marker lights, and our docking lights for the driver's side of the coach. And we have our special little storage area for our Stinky Slinky, which they have added a nice reinforced hose for that this year. Here we are at our wet bay. So we'll see, you'll see that it's lit, which is very nice. And then everything is nicely labeled. So you have your C2, C level two tank monitoring system. Redundancy, we talk about a lot with Integra. So you have this inside the coach as well as out here. You have your electric black tank valves and gray tank valves. Macerator on and off, your light switch. This is your fresh water fill. So when it's a vertical, you're hooked up to city water. When it's horizontal, you're filling your tank. Fresh water connection. This is your black tank rinse. This is a release for your hose. So you just release it, pull it out, and then retract. This is the bypass for your water filter for your drinking water. When National Indoor RV Center preps your coach for delivery, they will add the water filter here. You have your water filter for the entire coach here and your tool to replace that filter. And we have our handy dandy pressurized shower hose so you can wash off your furry friends or your feet once you've been to the beach. We also have our place for our soap and our paper towels. And behind the door, we have our macerator, which is basically our garbage disposal for our black tank. And we have a manual bypass for that as well, or gravity dump. All right, here we are at our um, Aqua Hot 450 diesel Aqua Hot. So this provides our on-demand hot water for the coach and also acts as your furnace once you drop below 40 degrees. We have our SureGuard transfer switch with surge suppression and our 50 foot 50 amp shore power cord on an auto reel. Also, you'll see right here, this is the exhaust is for the diesel aqua hot. All right, on to our pass through baggage trays. We've already demonstrated those, but those come out on the driver's side as well as the passenger side. Our second power pass-through tray. And when they moved the batteries to the center of the coach, we got this huge storage area. Here's the fuel fill for the driver's side of the coach. Again, they've added that tether so we're not gonna lose any more gas caps, which is wonderful. We have our docking light and onto our last compartment here, we have the battery cable so if we have low batteries we can actually charge our batteries from the front of the coach or the rear of the coach this is our power distribution center for the front part of the chassis so just like in the back if i were to remove this panel we would see fuses here say for our headlights for our docking lights for our marker lights and something you probably don't know is if your captain's chair stop working the fuses for that is also right behind this box with the engine key on and air in your system, you can just hit the generator slide extend and that comes right out. I get asked all the time what that exhaust pipe is for. It's for our generator. So here is our 12.5 Onan generator. 
So this will run all three ACs, your microwave, your stove while you're going down the road, and you don't have to worry about tripping a breaker. If you did trip a breaker, you'd have to pull over and flip that switch right here. So it's nice they give you enough power to run all those things without any worry. All right, if there's anything for you to remember today, it's that Integra is the only manufacturer that offers a two-year warranty. So that's huge. Now that we've, I've shown you the outside of this gorgeous coach, let's go see what it looks like on the inside. So before we step in, we've got this great drawer here. We can put our uh, dirty shoes or pet leashes, whatever we don't want to take all the way into the coach with us. You'll also notice that Integra is beautifully lit there and we have nice lighting for the stairwell as well. We also have the step power button. So once you're at the campground, you don't want your steps to keep going in and out every time your door is open. You hit that button, they'll stay out while you're camping. Now we have our main power switch. We love that because you, right as you're leaving or coming into the coach, you can hit that button to cut off all power to the coach. Then we have one of our many multiplex lighting system displays. So we have our master light on and off. So you come into the coach at night, you can hit this button and eliminate the whole coach. We have our master night shades and our master day shades. So if I hit these buttons, all the night shades will go down in the cab area and in the living room. We have our awning lights here, our extend and retract for our, for our porch awning, cargo slide out light, porch, ceiling entry, and then our security lights. Moving to the co-captain seat, first of all, these are really comfortable chairs. We have the flex steel chair with real leather. Uh, Integra is one of the few Class A motorhome coaches that has real leather throughout the coach. So we also have the six features of the lumbar. Uh, we go forward one, back two, up three, down four, forward tilt, and caboose tilt. And we wouldn't ever want to travel without this little button right here. Now I'm ready to go. Now, so that I don't fall into the um, stairwell there, I'm gonna go ahead and press my step slide cover there. Here we have two USB ports, two 110 outlets, and our nice lit cup holder, the slide extend, and then we have our front day shades. So for the passenger, I can press that down and have my shade come down, keep the sun out of my eyes. And I can also shade the door. For the rest of the shades, you can control them in three different ways. Obviously from the Vega touch, from this panel right here, front master, night master, day master, or from the panel below when we came in the entry. Now I wanna discuss all the features in the cockpit. So first of all, we're gonna talk about our Hadley air leveling system. This is your electronic stability control while traveling. But let's first discuss when you're stopping for a short stay, a day or less. So to have this work, we need to have the engine on. And then we're searching for a level surface. So we're gonna push this button here. The green arrows mean that we can level. If it's yellow or orange, it's possible. And if it's red, it, we're, we're on too much of a slope. We won't be able to level. All right, so green means that we can level. We have the front to back arrows. It's a solid green, but our right to left are still flashing so that means it's not level and we can level it so i'm going to go ahead and hit the set button and you'll hear the air 
trying to level the coach. Okay, now that we have solid green arrows front to back and side to side, we are set. The coach is done leveling, and now to lock that into place, I'm gonna turn off the engine and that will close the valves. Okay, now I'm ready to leave the Walmart parking lot or my short-term uh, location, and so I'm going to turn on the engine. And I need to get the coach to ride height. So I simply push the standard ride button and it's gonna automatically go to the correct ride height. All right, now we're in standard ride height and we're traveling down the road and I've gotta go and get gas. I'm a little worried about dragging my front end or my back end, so I wanna raise the entire coach. So I simply push the raise button and hold until that light goes solid. Now you can see that we're not at right height and the right height button is illuminated and we've got that annoying beep. If I wanna get rid of that right now, cause I know what the problem is, I'm just gonna hit my arrow and turn that off. It's gonna take a couple minutes for the coach to raise up. So we'll wait for that to happen. All right, now we're done with our trip. We're headed home and we've got to get this 13 foot coach into our garage that's not much taller than feet, 13 feet. So we need to look, drop the air in our coach. Now, a couple of things, think about this. When you've got a, almost a seven inch swing, when you air up the airbags, you can go up to three inches more. When you drop the air, you can go, you can lose as much as four inches. So we're gonna simply go over here to our panel. We're gonna hit the lower button and hold it. We can hear the air releasing and we're lowering. Now one of the things you have to be really careful of when you're, when you're taking out all the air, you wanna make sure your tires are straight, your wheels are straight. And once they're, once you're lowered, you gotta keep them straight because you're otherwise you're gonna ruin your fiberglass. We've had a lot of um, work done in our body department at National Indoor RV Centers because people forgot that one little thing. So again, we've got the alarm on. We've got the warning here, letting us know that we're not at right height. And again, if we wanna get rid of that beeping, just hit the arrow. All right, the coach is all lowered and we're ready to pull into the garage. Okay, let's take your worst case scenario. Say you've left your coach, you left the lights on, you come back and your batteries are dead. So you're gonna come over here, push the battery boost button. You can combine, again, your house and your chassis batteries together until you get enough power to start your generator. Now that the generator is running, it's providing 110 volts to the inverters, which can charge the house batteries. All right, our air horn, which we have the wussy air horn now, but if we want the Tim the Toolman Taylor air horn, you wanna make sure someone's getting out of your way, keep your air horn on. <laughs> then we have our pet safety um, battery disconnect switch. So you can use this for your pets or your children, but you basically have to slide that to to press the button. We have our docking lights left, docking lights rear, docking lights right. ATC, what does that stand for? Automatic traction control. So this is usually in the auto position. It's just always on. Uh, you may want to turn that off. Say you were stuck in mud and you needed your tires to spin more. You turn that off. It stays off for about 20 minutes. If you're stuck in mud too, you may want to um, dump the air so that you have more uh, weight on your drive axle. You have your pedal slide retract and extend, so just push that so that you're comfortable while driving. Your map lights on, off, and auto. Hey, your tag dump, you have your engine brake. In the cornerstone, you have the 600 horsepower engine. When you've got that on high, you have 600 horses pulling you back. 
when you're stopping. Here we have the buttons for that to, for our driver information center. Basically, you can customize the information, um, really customize it. This is new for 2018, so you're gonna have a lot of fun with that. Uh, we have our front day shades, our left driver's passenger and right. We have the internal controls for our mirrors and the heat, the defrost. Here we have the headlights, panel lights, fog lights, accent lights, or as I like to refer to them as the show off lights. And we have our hydraulic leveling system here. So if you're gonna be at the campground for more than a day, you're gonna to want to have a firm foundation and you're gonna to wanna to use your hydraulic leveling jacks. I wanna cover another standard feature for the Cornerstone. It's the blind spot monitoring system. So it's gonna alert you if you've got a car or something along the side of the vehicle. So if you look at the dash here, we've got the red light on, which also we have a light indicator in our side view mirror that lets us know that it's on as well. The steering wheel of the Cornerstone is leather lined. We have a tilt feature for the steering wheel. We also have toggle controls for your radio and your source for your uh, camera. You can do volume, change the channel. Then we have our courtesy lights. So if you're driving down the road at night and uh, truckers pass you, you want to flash this one one time to let him know it's okay for him to safely come back into your lane. If you have passed a trucker and you're going down the road and he lets you know that it's, he gives you the signal that it's safe to go back into the lane, you'll wanna flash this three times to say thank you. Then we also have a way, this is our cruise control device here, but we can also use this to uh, bring up the air in the coach quickly. So you can turn this on and hit the set button and you're gonna go into a high idle mode to air up your coach quicker. Then we have the windshield wipers over here, obviously pretty basic, low, Hit it twice for high. Or you can do an intermittent interval. So you can hit this one time, count, one, two, three, four, and then press the button again and it repeats the same interval. One, two, three, four. So you can set whatever interval you'd like and you have your windshield washer fluid. All right, let's cover the display center here. So we have our menu button. So we've got the radio, media center, XM, Bluetooth, HDMI, camera, iPod, nav system, and your setup. So let's go to, here's your radio setting. You can pick your favorite right there. So it will automatically go to your favorite station. You've got your nav system. So it will take you right to your maps. And then a really cool option here is your Vega Touch. So you've got basic light controls, your entry door and your cargo locks, but this is what you're really gonna care about here. No more big generator button on your dash, it's right here. So you can turn your generator on and off and you can set the temperature of your house right here with your roof ACs. Now over here we have the Total um, Vision Remote Control video. So this is gonna uh, control your camera. So I'll show you a little bit more about this when we're out on the road driving, but you can do the rear view or the hitch view and then you can just move your camera around as you need to. This is your collision mitigation system and I'll demonstrate this when we're out driving as well. Your climate control, your AC control, USB, HDMI, and your 12 volt. And then you've got the two cup holders that are backlit this year. And they've made us a new little tray that's nice and solid, doesn't uh, move around. So it's just the little things that count. I absolutely love the trees in Georgia, except when I'm driving a coach. You can see at the bottom of the screen that I've set the cruise control to 57 miles per hour. The car in front of me is currently traveling at 65 miles per hour or 486 feet. Notice the letters CMS on the screen. 
which stands for Collision Mitigation System. When this is on the screen, it means the system is working and it's showing the car in front of us is traveling now at 41 miles per hour, slowing to 34 miles per hour, and now 32 miles per hour, and so on. All determined from our set speed here in the coach. Now as the car in front of me slows, I'm not gonna go with my instinct and put my foot on the brake. Not gonna touch the brake at all, and notice how the coach, without me doing anything, it slows down on its own. The U.S. Department of Transportation has advised us with a vehicle of this size and weight capacity that the safe following distance is 3.6 seconds from the vehicle in front of us. So just like you saw, once I hit the 3.6 second barrier, the coach applied the brakes automatically. This is a great safety feature in the event you become distracted and you start to get too close to the vehicle in front of you. Here we have one of our three control panels throughout the coach. We have four resettable breakers here. Other than that, everything is done electronically. We have our wine guard over the air antenna. So if I turn that on, you will see it's searching for the best position so that we can have the best reception. So even in this huge building, we're picking up four broadcasting stations. Here's our Morningstar remote meter, which serves as a solar panel controller. This will give you the readings of your house and chassis batteries and the temperature of your batteries. All right, here we have our AC overrides. So this is, we have this in the case of something goes wrong with our uh, Vega Touch. this is an override. So our ACs will come on. There's no thermostat, but you'll have AC. Same thing here with the generator start button. You can start your generator here. Something goes wrong with the Vega Touch. this is your override. Then we have our slide out controls so we can uh, extend and retract the kitchen, super slide, vanity slide, and bed slide. All right, let's talk about electricity. Now I need it for my alarm clock and my, my microwave so I make sure I never miss a meal. Um, here we have our power control center. Now 50 amp service is really an RVer's term. So if you were to ask an electrician what you have coming into this coach, he's gonna say you have one leg with 50 amps and another leg with 50 amps. So you've got two legs with 50 amps. Even with my blonde hair, I can do that math. So you've got 100 amps of power coming into this coach. Now, everything that you see in this box is going to be run by uh, when you're plugged into shore power or using your generator. So you have your basement, your dryer, stove, middle AC, rear AC, front AC, water heater, washer, and fireplace. In this box over here, we have everything that will be run when we are um, running off our inverter or our batteries. So we have the bedroom, kitchen, living room, bathroom, refrigerator, microwave, and the cab dash area. So please note, you can't run your air conditioner without having either being plugged in or running your generator. Your inverters do three things. They convert AC to DC, DC to AC, they charge your batteries, and they pass current through it. So this breaker, labeled inverter one, is gonna pass current down to the basement area where your inverters are located, pass through it, and back up to here and in the process it will charge your batteries as necessary all right i want to take you outside real quick and pretend we're in a campground all right here we are in our lush green campground no just kidding we're actually in our brand new atlanta facility we store 300 coaches indoors here so we have hookups for all of our coaches so i want you to look at um, the breaker switch there so we've got 50 amps of power here and 50 amps of power here, 100, just like I talked about inside. Also, look at the plug. We have one leg here, our second leg here, our ground, and this is our neutral. So if I were to take off this cover and you were to plug your plug into here, you'd see that there's just two brass clips. And over time, those get loose. So we go and we plug our coach in, we go into the coach, turn on our ACs, and there's a big draw power and all of a sudden the, the AC goes off. And you guys think that you have something wrong with your coach. It's actually a problem here at the plug. So you can test that by turning on your generator. If your AC turns right on, you know it's a problem at the plug. 
Another thing to think about, or that I want you to think about, is your 30 amp power. This looks just like our 220 at home. So I've had several customers, well, I've had a couple customers that have, you know, figured they could plug into their to the 30 amp, what they're thinking is 30 amp, but it's really 220. The 220 is too much for their coach to handle and it fries their whole coach. Now here in the cornerstone, we have the surge um, protector transfer switch. So it's going to evaluate the power before it allows it to come into the coach. If it's too much, if you were to plug into 220, it would not let you do that. All right, let's talk about that four letter word, Vega. Here I am at the Vega touch screen. Now I want you to look at my ancient phone. This isn't the phone I want. This is the phone I want. They've made huge improvements in the phones from my phone to this phone. Same thing that they've done with the Vega touch screen. They've made vast improvements over the last year. I can't remember the last phone, phone call I got on the Vega touch. Here we are at the home page. So this is the power center. Basically when you're in the home, it controls everything your living room, your bedroom, your bathrooms, everything. So the first thing I want you to notice is the message center. So if you have any kind of uh, alert that they need to let you know about, it's gonna be right here. So right now we have an alert that the fresh water tank is low. This will tell you what the percentage of level is in your fresh water tank, black water tank, and gray water tank. This is the screen sleep. So if you hit that, the screen will go black. Then we have your entry door lock and unlock your master AV off so this is your master audio visual off if you hit this you can turn off the AV for the whole coach that's TVs DVD players etc this is your cargo door lock and unlock and then we have our interior lights so this is the master switch so off everything's off and on everything's back on this is the master um, control for all of your shades throughout the co coach, day and night. So if I hit this, all of our night shades are gonna go down. Or I'll have them go all the way up. Now that's gonna work for everything except the bedroom and the bathroom. Your Bedroom shades and your bathroom shades will only go up if you're physically in those rooms because we don't want to surprise anyone that's changing their clothes back there. Same with your exterior lights, so we can turn them on or we can turn them all off. Over here, it's gonna show you your AC power. So it's gonna let you know that we're plugged into shore power, that we're pulling 118 volts on one leg and 120 on another leg, and we're using five amps, of, five amps here and two amps there. This will tell you your DC power. It's gonna go over your chassis battery level and your house battery level. And then it's gonna tell you about your inverter. So inverter one and inverter two, they're both charging and they're on a float charge right now. You can turn your generator on and off here, your water pump here, your electric hot water and your diesel hot water. Now from this screen here, if you have any questions about any of the functions, on this screen, and you can do this on each screen that I go over, you're gonna hit your question mark button. So I love this. If you want a little bit more information on your power that's coming into the coach, here, the power information is all gonna be displayed in great detail, and I love this thing, it's wonderful. It's like your cliff notes. <laughs> you can do it here for, let's do the diesel hot, oh, look, we'll just turn that on, sorry. There, hit the button, the question mark. That will tell you all about your generator, water pump, and hot water. So read through that, and then when, you, when you're done asking all your questions, just simply hit the question button, and it disappears. Okay, moving on to the living room. Now these are the controls for everything in the living room. So we have all of our light controls. Turn the entry on and off, or the living room, let's see, kitchen. Now what I really like about this is that you can dim the lights. So lighting is everything. You can adjust all those lights to 
the right brightness. And it will save those settings for you if you go if you go to master off, just go to master off. When I come back home, my settings are still right where I left them. So if I don't want a really bright coach, if I want to keep that nice mood lighting, it's going to stay the same. Unless I press and hold, then it will reset everything to the full brightness of the coach. Another button that y'all are going to love is the theater mode. So if you go out for a nice dinner, you come home, you want to set the mood, all you have to do is hit the button and bam, mood is set. The rest is up to you. <laughs> all right, now to our shades. So we have our Cab Master Day and Night Shades, Passenger Living Area Master. So if I just want to do all the shades in that area, I just go the master. If I want to do them individually, like the toll window, entry window, by the dinette, I can do those that way. All right, AV button, so you can control your devices from here. Blu-ray, radio, and direct TV. It's already programmed in. All we have to do is connect your IR to your receiver. And those of you with Dish Network, don't feel left out. We can take away the direct TV and make that dish. You can call National Indoor RV Centers and we can have that done for you here. Okay, moving on to the master bedroom area. We have one of this button you all will love because it's your panel lights. If those lights keep you up at night, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Just simply hit the button there and turn them off. This is your master on and off light switch, your master day and night um, shades. Again, you cannot make those go up from here. You have to be in the bedroom to raise the shades. We have our ceiling lights. Again, you can set the, you can dim those. Overhead vanity, courtesy lights, and then your day and night shades for your bed and your vanity. And you can control your AV for the bedroom from that switch as well. On to the stool room and the master bathroom. So you can do your lighting there. Turn on your water pump here. Ceiling, laboratory, the base um, accent, and then again, your shades. Just come down, you have to be in the room, room to raise them. Now we've done everything inside the coach, so let's go to outside. So here we can control our front awning, our door awning, and our rear awning. Our external TV entertainment center, our acti uh, motion activated security lights. So we just hit that. Now, when someone walks by the coach, those lights are gonna come on. We have our awning lights, porch light, cargo lights, and under the slide lights. Here we can extend and retract the slides. So you simply have to hold the button down the whole time the slide is either coming in or going out. All right. And lastly, our settings button here. So you can control the shore power, your aqua hot engine preheat. You simply tap on and off to turn these settings on or off. If you need to edit them, then you would push and hold. You can also change the display of your coach, different colors, and the brightness and how long you want it to um, stay active once you've touched it. So we've got it on 30 minutes, but you can move it down to one. Um, display items that you see during sleep. So this screen will go away. Do you want to see the clock, date and time and temperatures? And then make sure everyone knows about this button right here. This is your mobile apps. So click that. And that is going to tell you how you can go to Vega Touch download the app for your phone so that everything you can do right here you can do on your phone as long as you're within a certain distance of the coach last but not least because this is probably one of the um, buttons you're going to use the very most is your temperature settings so here it shows the living room area is 95 i can just change the temperature easily like that you can hear the ac kicking on already. Go back 
and I can also control the temperature for the whole coach right here. So I can go through cool, hot, auto, so you can set up those times, and then you can just change it with your finger by lowering the arrow up and down, or you can do it by intervals just like that. Now, if I want to make sure the, the whole coach is the same temperature, I just decide what temperature I want that to be and hit sync all. Now they'll all go to that temperature. This is where we control the basement heat. Turn it on. We can set that. Or turn it off. And our floor heat as well. On how much heat we want coming from the floor or turn it all the way off. We can schedule, so we can set the timing from 6.30 a.m. till 9 p.m. I want it at this temperature, so you can uh, manually, or you can schedule all of that. Turn on your diesel heat and electric heat, turn them on and off right there. And again, if you ever have any questions, simply go to your question mark, and it will all be explained to you. Pretty cool, huh? I think it's really wonderful. I think you'll fall in love with it. One more thing to note, just while you're looking at your display, when we go to turn everything on, you're gonna notice a little dot that will come on. When you see a red dot, that means the fan's on, and then when you go to the green dot, it means the compressor and the air conditioning unit has come on. So just kind of watch this process. Okay, just one thing to note while you're cooling your coach, when you initially turn everything on, they're gonna stagger as they start. They're not gonna all turn on at once. So you'll see a red light go on, which means the fan started. And when you see the green light go on, it means the compressor has started. So we'll just watch to see the other AC units start. Green, and soon this will go green. There we go. We're all started. And one more thing to note, the time is dictated by your navigation system. So as you travel through different states and different time zones, your time's gonna automatically change with you. All right, now we're done with all the heavy lifting. Let's have some fun. This is my favorite part. I get to introduce the brand new interior. Well, this is one of the brand new interiors for 2018. This is the cashmere interior with the beautiful new leather, the stonewall gray cabinets. The cabinets have 90% sheen on them. The natural cherry and the Tuscan cherry have 60% or 60 sheen. So we have 50% more sheen on these cabinets, but it's not like a full 120, what some are, uh, some manufacturers do. We wanted, they wanted to make sure they left some of the natural wood look to the cabinets. I think they're gorgeous. We have the new um, handles. We have the quartz countertop still, like always, and this beautiful new mosaic insert for the cornerstone. New lighting, new ceiling treatment, all new. So you've got to come see this in person. It's gorgeous. Now, I've turned the two captain's chairs around so you can sit in the captain's chair here. Not all coaches do this, but you also, if I can find the control. <laughs> okay, it reclines, so it's super comfortable. It's also heated and cooled. So look at how many seats you have in your living room. You can fit a ton of people in your coach. Now this is the 45W. So we have the sofa and then we have the theater seating. This is another new option for 2018 or it came out like mid 17s. But so you have theater seating and they are powered seats. And they recline. So I'm gonna take a nap now. I've been doing a lot of hard work. Very comfy, you'll love this. And you've got two cup holders here for your drinks. And a huge storage space. So you can throw your blankets, your 
books, whatever, as your guests come in, whatever you need to hide, you could probably hide it in here. Another new feature that they added in 2018 is the booth option. So Integra hasn't offered a booth in all the floor plans before. Now I think it's an offered in, in most of the cornerstone floor plans, you can now get a booth. So it's nice and roomy. And you can sit in it, you know, either way, again, expand your living room. I wanted to make sure you notice the 32 inch Samsung TV up front. And we have our TV over here on the TV lift. So you have your beautiful scenery if you're in a great park or you can put the TV up and you have your big screen TV. The Cornerstone comes standard with the um, Bose sound system and the Sound Touch 300 sound bar. You also have lots of storage here above and this sofa makes into a queen hide bed Another little place that we have some extra storage is underneath our booth. So under both sides you've got storage there as well and a cabinet in between the two chairs. All right, here we are in the gorgeous kitchen of the Cornerstone. I love the extendable countertop and they have great drawers. Full extension and nice and smooth. They just glide right along. Plus you have tons of beautiful, great storage. And I love the trays. So we're not digging to the back of the cabinet for that can of beans that we can't reach. Also note the beautiful quartz countertop, the stainless steel sink with the cutting boards on the back side, and the residential faucets. Everything's just so beautiful. We have the Furion induction um, cooktop and the Whirlpool microwave convection oven. Now, one of my favorite features always about the Cornerstone is this cabinet here. I love, love, love that we have a place for our garbage. I hate to see my garbage out the first thing when I walk into my couch, so I'd much rather have it tucked away, place for my sink covers, and then a nice deep storage area there as well. We have the dishwasher here, and a nice deep drawer, again, for all of our utensils, and another fave is the little silverware drawer. Now, in 18, they've added the spice cabinet. I think that's a wonderful use of that space rather than having something decorative on the wall there. Let's have something useful that we can actually put our spices in. And we have the Whirlpool refrigerator freezer. So huge residential refrigerator with the ice maker and water and nice big freezer, just like at home. And then we have the dual pantry, top and bottom, and we have the pull-out shelf there. Now, I always like to mention the central vac, so you can hook in there, vacuum your whole coach, and another favorite is the dustpan. So sweep everything over to that and it disappears. All right, notice the beautiful panel, new paneling on the half bathroom door of the 45W. We go in, we, they've added a nice hook for your towels. Other one here, lots of storage. And we have our second control panel with the resettable breakers. Again, beautiful countertops, lots of storage. A really nice size half bath. I wanted to let you see what the slides look like when they're retracted. You still have plenty of room to get your kitchen, prepare a sandwich, sit at your dinette, get to your refrigerator, and get whatever you need. Access to your pantry. And of course, the most important, the bathroom. All right, moving into the gorgeous master bedroom. Before we go inside, I just want you to notice 
The beautiful new panels they put in the door for 18 to correspond with the panels in the half bath. Remember also that the doors have the air secure lock at the bottom. So when you put the coach into drive, they're gonna lock shut. You're not gonna have that rattling. This contributes to the quietest riding, best handling coach on the market today, period. Here we have the gorgeous master bedroom, king size bed. We have the sleep number mattress and storage underneath. We've got 110 outlets on your nightstand here and 110 and USB on this nightstand behind the 32 inch Samsung TV. We have the safe and Blu-ray player. Also notice all the storage that you have. So again, nice big drawers, lots of storage. It's just a beautiful bedroom. And again, notice the ceiling fan. Something that's very important to a lot of people. All right, we're gonna head into the master, but I just wanted to again show you the beautiful doors, nice solid wood doors as we head into the master bathroom. Bathroom, so you can totally make your bedroom very private from the rest of the coach. Here we have our beautiful shower with new tiles, new decorative tiles, little spot for, you can, for the ladies to shave their legs. It's always nice when they think of us. We have huge new closet with our National Indoor RV shirt hanging there. And one of the great additions for 2018. I know everyone is so excited about this. Seems like a small thing, but it is huge. They've added the, of course, if I can figure out how to open them, <laughs> the medicine cabinet. Look at all that space that we didn't have before. Now that is all very usable, safe space and beautiful to boot. Again, great storage. And last but not least, the washer and dryer. Notice a nice towel racks, two of them for your towels and one to hang with back there. And we have the Tecma push button toilet and again, huge closet. I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of the 2018 45W Integra Cornerstone. If you like this coach and you wanna see more of it, you can visit our website at nirvc.com or give us a call. We'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this walkthrough video and you'd like to see more, please press the like button and hit subscribe.